I am Aaron Hunan. And I am Olivia Corridori. And this is Hasty Husky News signing off. Have a fantastic Friday and a Memorial Day holiday. And now, here is the Mysteries of Life with Lainey Show. Doobie-doobie-dooba, Lainey! Mysteries of Life with Lainey! Good morning and welcome to the season finale of Mysteries of Life with Lainey. I'm your host, Lainey Klein, a fourth grader here at Hayes Elementary Fine Arts Academy. On Mysteries of Life with Lainey, I interview teachers, staff, and others in our community to get answers to questions that students may have about how things work at our school and in our world. As you probably already know, Hayes Elementary is located in Canton, Georgia. With almost 25,000 residents, Canton is one of the 50 largest cities in our state. According to the real estate blog Movoto, it is also the best place to live in Georgia. But we already knew that. There are many reasons why Canton, Georgia is such a great place to be. First of all, Canton is a very safe place, with a low crime rate and well-trained policemen and firemen always ready to help in case of an emergency. Canton also has plenty of places to eat, shop, and explore, as well as many public parks and special events for all of us to enjoy. As you might imagine, keeping a city the size of Canton headed in the right direction is not an easy job. And dozens of city workers are on the job every day, doing their very best to make sure things run smoothly. But you may not know that every four years, the people of Canton vote to choose one person out of 25,000 city residents to serve as the leader of our city for the next four years. The leader of the city government is called the mayor, and he or she has a really big job. On today's edition of Mysteries of Life with Lady, we're going to discover what it is like to be the mayor of a city. My guest today knows all about what it takes to be the leader of a city, since he has served as the mayor of Canton for more than seven years. Please welcome Mayor Jean Hopkin. <laughs> mayor Hopkin, welcome to Mysteries of Life with Lady, and thank you for being here. Thank you very much, and I am indeed honored to be here at Hasty Elementary this morning. Thank you for inviting me. I understand that you were born and raised right here in Cherokee County. What was Canton like when you were growing up? And what are some of the most important skills or lessons that you learned in elementary school that have helped you in your work as mayor? Canton was very different than it is today, certainly when I was growing up. It was a very small town, but the downtown area had all the stores you would ever need. I mean, downtown Canton, after you went outside downtown Canton, it was reasonably rural. I mean, not like you. We didn't have shopping centers like Riverstone or Canton Marketplace at that time. And people that uh, lived in Canton, the majority of them worked in the Canton textile mills, uh, which was a, a manufacturing plant that made denim for blue jeans and jackets like you have there. Uh, people uh, at that time would shop. Uh, they worked right around Canton, most of them in the textile mills, but they uh, actually would shop downtown. I mean, we had stores that, where they would buy their groceries. You really don't see a grocery store downtown anymore. It's out around in shopping centers like Ingalls and Publix and uh, Target and so forth. But we also, they also bought their hardware and clothes. I mean, clothing stores right downtown. It was really, truly a, a small town, but it was the county seat, the main, the main city in, in the town, in, in the county. So, you know, you got all your services and everything right there. And I guess, you know, I, I attended uh, a, a Canton Elementary School because, uh, you know, Hasty wasn't here. I probably would have wanted to come to Hasty, I'm sure, if, uh, uh, if I'd have had an opportunity, but Hasty wasn't here. And, uh, you know, I learned a lot of things in elementary school. I would walk from the, the home that I lived in, in one of the cotton mill villages there up to Canton Elementary, which is located right downtown. And, uh, <clears throat> You know, I, I learned a lot of things. I learned that, uh, of course, uh, you needed to work hard. And I think you need to study hard, certainly, uh, to to achieve what you wanted to achieve in life. And that, I got that uh, at a very early age, I think, from, from my elementary school. And we, we learned very basic stuff in elementary school, with reading, writing, and what we called arithmetic at that time. Not We didn't call it math early on, you know. 
but uh, learned the very basics, but it was very helpful to me as I, I moved in and went through high school at Cherokee High School and then went on through college. Before you were elected mayor, I read that you worked as a teacher and also in the marketing of architecture and engineering services. How did you decide that you wanted to run for mayor? That, that is a good story, actually. I had, I had been in the political world for quite a number of years previously as uh, the Cherokee County Tax Commissioner, and then I was elected twice as Cherokee County's last sole commissioner. Uh, I ended that around 1990, which is a long time ago, certainly. Uh, I left office and um, went out worked in the private sector. I did do marketing of engineering and architectural uh, services. Uh, we uh, had lived uh, up in the northwest part of the county for about 18 years. And of course, as, as we got older, my wife and I got older, we uh, and our children grew up and moved away. Uh, we uh, decided to downsize and move back into Canton because we had a, a large home up there and it was just 60 acres of land. It was just too much to take care of for us. So we, we moved back in. Well, just a few short years after we moved in, we got involved with the Historical Homeowners Association, which was a group that uh, was trying to preserve the homes, the residential character of homes along East Main Street, particularly there. Uh, not that we lived in a historical home, it's just that uh, we felt very strongly that that was an important uh, thing to do. Uh, some, of the, some of the people actually felt like the city wasn't going in the right direction in that respect, so I obviously had a momentary lapse of good judgment and decided that, that I would run and see if I could help them out and, and move the city forward uh, uh, in, a, in a new direction, and that's how I got going in that one. Earlier this spring, the city of Canton opened the new Etowah River Park, which all of us here at Hasty got to enjoy as part of the school's 10th birthday celebration a few weeks back. What is the mayor's role in building a major project like a public park? And what would you like to see happen next in the areas of parks and recreation? Well, that, that's really a good question there. We have uh, the, the, the park itself, and the mayor's role in, in, in any project, which includes building parks and so forth, is to uh, basically convince the, provide the leadership and convince the other council members that we can do these things and to map out a strategy for, for building parks. Um, the mayor, uh, it's, it's interesting, the mayor doesn't have a vote on the council. There's the mayor and six council members. The council members make the rules and the ordinances and so forth. The mayor is responsible as the chief elected or chief executive officer of making sure that their, the council's policies are carried out. But, you know, we, I do have a voice, and my voice is utilized to, to convince the council members this is the direction we need to go in. I don't get a vote at all on the council on any issue unless there's a tie. There's six council members, so occasionally there's a tie, and occasionally I'll get the vote to break the tie. But, but my, basically, basically my goal here is to convince them that this is the way we need to go. Uh, what I'd like to see next, uh, as we move forward, the next step is to connect uh, Etowah Park to Heritage Park. And, and, and if you've been down there, you've seen the bridge that goes across the river. Well, we have it already budgeted this year. I mean, sometime this year, we're going to make that connection uh, between Etowah Park and Heritage Park. And beyond that, we're also working on getting a design. In fact, we just approved last night at a council meeting that uh, to hire an engineering firm to do the design from uh, Heritage Park over to Bowling Park. So we're going to have a quite extensive trail system right here in Canton that everyone, I think, can enjoy. Many of the students here at Hasty live in and around downtown Canton, where the city recently became the owner of the former Canton Elementary Building and the, formal, and the former Cotton Mill offices. How would you like to see these properties used? And what would you like to see, see in the downtown Canton area as a whole? 
Yeah, that's that's also a really good question too because that's something we're working very hard on right now. Uh, we, as you know, the Board of Education decided and determined that they would uh, uh, build their new administration building outside of downtown. And rather than, you know, uh, our discussion with them was only that if, if they decided to move out of town, would we want to acquire those buildings? And so we did uh, acquire the buildings uh, by swapping some land for them. What we, what we want to see happen there, that's four acres of land that the city now can control and we can tell how, uh, determine how it should be developed. What we want to see there, and we've been discussing this with a number of uh, developers, we'd like to see some mixed use uh, uh, properties there. We'd like to see some office. We'd like to see maybe some, some uh, uh, townhouses or something. We need some more living spaces downtown. We need some people living downtown, more people. And when we get more people there, we'll get even more businesses downtown. And that's very, very important. There's uh, uh, been an amazing interest in those two buildings so that we want to, we don't want to tear those two buildings down, but we want to repurpose those buildings. We want to give them new life. Uh, for instance, just an example, we would like to see maybe the elementary school become a little hotel or, or the uh, Canton Cotton offices become a restaurant or some retail sales out of it. I mean, you know, we got plenty of parking on that four acres, so anything could happen there. We don't know what, what's going to happen just yet, but we're uh, in discussions with some developers to see if we can't make something happen. And I, I want to see downtown become much more vibrant over the next few years than it has been. And, it, and believe me, over the last seven years, the downtown has, has become much more vibrant than it was seven or eight years ago. We've got a lot more events and things going on and happening there that is just, you know, really exciting, I think. So I want, I want to see downtown really develop. That's important to me. Well, there you have it, folks. The mystery of life as the mayor of Canton has been solved once and for all. Mayor Hopgood, thank you very much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be our guest today. My pleasure, and, and thank you so much for inviting me, and, and I would like to give you a a token of our appreciation for, for the work that you're doing here, and that is a, a, um, a small key to our city here, which is a lapel pin, which you can put it on the cap or your jacket or anything here, and, and this is the, a small uh, replica of the key to our city, so thank you for what you did as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks also to the crew of Mysteries of Life with Lady, Ella Salls, Olivia Neesman, Sarah Bell, and Summer McCroy. And special thanks go to Ms. Brackett, Ms. Scoggins, Mr. Magruder, Diana Hilaria, and Mr. Arnett for their help with the show. Most of all, thanks to you all for watching. We hope you'll join us next time as we learn how, more about how things work at our school and in our world. On this of the Life of the Lady, have a great summer, everyone. Let me sit down. Let's get your picture. I didn't ramble too much. Huh? <laughs> <laughs>